anything to do with the just like the the, the diamond <laughs> Whoa. oh my god a pigeon just <laughs> A pigeon literally just flew into my window and everything. Oh flew. my god. <laughs> um, you were kind of traveling and then all of a sudden I noticed this very adorable man popping up on your Instagram and I'm like, who's this? Is this somebody <laughs> From the past, from work, tell us everything. I'm so I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and uh, I've had a house here for about eight years and lived here kind of on and off. Mm -hmm. And um, so this fiance of mine now <laughs> is uh, actually I know him through some work colleagues. So I work with his mom and I work with his sister. And that's not how we met though. We met through another mutual friend of ours who set us up and I had kind of known about him for a number of years, but, um, you know, he was doing his thing and I was doing my thing and, uh, it was just kismet timing, I guess. And yeah, it was, uh, very, um, different from every other relationship starting I've ever had. So yeah. When, when did you first start dating? in December actually so not that long ago <laughs> so it is like love it for hey. was, was it love at first sight or were you like he's cool I like him well it, it you know what I would say it was love at first sight but it also felt very calm like I've, I'm used to these kind of like um well it's all crazy and you're all like you know running at fast speeds and all of this stuff um but it felt actually like a very healthy beginning like it felt just like really calm and we met and it was just like so easy and it was just uh like there weren't any doubts in my mind there weren't any questions and he felt the same and it was like no communication issues it was just like very clear that we both felt the same way and um yeah all I can say is it was just easy like easy and healthy and natural and uh calm which is I contrary love to my previous situations uh yes we we know that was that was tough um, yeah. so, did, so did you know that the proposal was coming or was it totally surprised so this is kind of, kind of fun so because we both knew what was coming like what that we had we had talked about marriage and we had talked about you know our goals and whatever and um so it was in like march of this year that i was with one of my co-workers and she was asking me how the relationship was going and i was like well it's really good like there's no doubts in my mind and he feels the same way and everything's great and so i'm sure we'll get married i just don't know when probably next year sometime and so she started saying um I'm sorry, my dog's just scratching at the door. Um, she started saying, well, oh my gosh, just so you know, because of all the COVID stuff, like everything's booking up for next year. So you've got to get on it. And I was like, should I like just call and find this out? So I started like calling and then um, I wanted to just ask him about it. So I was like, this is the situation. I know we both talked about getting married, but what should we do? And we both like thought about it and we're like, let's just like look into booking it, see where we'd want to be, see if there's availability for the time frame we want. Mm -hmm. So we did all that and we just kind of like booked it. So we knew that like we it was just really weird because we like booked a photographer, did all this like preemptive stuff, but we're like, but we're not firmly engaged because we still want that to be a surprise. But like, so I didn't know it when it was coming. Um, and I that was really hard for me because I'm a control freak. <laughs> You already booked your wedding, Jenna. So you're like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, this better happen pretty soon. Um, that, that's pretty like, mildly. I was like, this better. <laughs> like yeah, a crazy yeah. person. So, so yeah. Um, and then we just went camping this past weekend and we both love camping and uh, the outdoors and all that stuff. And so it was like, in my mind, a natural time for it to happen. And uh, yeah, it was in the water. We were swimming and he like got down on one knee in the water. It was really romantic and cute. Oh, wait, he was in the water with that gigantic dive <laughs> ring. Dude. This is what his mom said. That's what my mom said. Everyone's like, what do you mean? He was in the water with the ring. It was in like his, because I saw it when we were sitting on the beach. It was like in his bathing suit shorts. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. I know. I know. Holy mo Now, did you have anything to do with the, just like the, the, the diamond? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. A pigeon just, <laughs> a pigeon literally just flew into my window and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> 
That's biblical. <laughs> I'll show, oh, you can't see because it's all blurred out. But yeah, my backyard's right here, and there's like a big open door, and a pigeon just flew into it. Um, <laughs> Gina, you remember? I'm crazy, right? <laughs> I got a storm going on out here too. So it's all yeah. things are, oh my like, God. Whoa. Um, yeah, so I actually did. So uh, the funny part is too, he is um, really good with like, um, like I trust his opinion about rings and like clothes and all that stuff. He's super good with that kind of stuff. Like even if I'm getting, like I wouldn't normally ask a boyfriend for advice, but he's like so good at it. So um we were looking at rings and I kind of showed him a style. So I've like tried on rings for years just out of curiosity. And my hand, I don't know, because I don't have like fake nails. I've never done that thing. Like I just can't have fake nails. And uh and I don't know, my hands are really like long. So it just like certain styles look really weird on me. And I didn't even try on a style like this. I had tried tried on one that was like sideways, like a, I guess they call it a baguette, but this is emerald cut and it's a solitaire. And I just like, I love that it's not contemporary. It's kind of old school kind of art deco style. And he was totally into it too. And then he obviously went to the jeweler and like went through that whole process, which I don't know much about, but um, I guess there's lots of back and forth with diamonds and yeah. picking and yeah, yeah. But it's honestly like I just kept saying it the whole night afterwards. I was like, it's just stunning. It's just stunning. It's just yeah. so stunning. It, um, it, it yeah, I just uh, it's just beautiful. Like it's just so nice and nothing I imagined I'd ever be wearing because I couldn't imagine myself getting married until this time. So you found the right one. Yeah, that was makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, now that you've got, you've got stuff booked. Are we talking when? So it's August 4th, 2023. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. So we've got a year to plan, but I'm like, honestly, because I mean, you know, I planned a wedding in a 24 hours on the show. Oh. And uh, I honestly was like, wow, as of today, I've got like literally everything booked so far, like all the flowers, all the, like all the vendors, the caterer, like everything's booked. And now we just get to like do all the fun stuff, like dress, dress shopping with my mom and his mom and sisters. And I'm really, really excited about that part. So that is incredible. Will it be like around near where you guys are from or are you going to destination wedding? Um, it'll be here. Yeah. It's uh, like a, a really rustic kind of cool barn oh, no. and uh, yeah, with like little lights and kind of like a garden theme. And that's the idea. I mean, my mind might change between now and then, but that's the idea. <laughs> That sounds beautiful. That sounds magical. And, you know, and cause you've been on such a journey, you know, I'm sure sometimes <laughs> when the show pops up, you're like, Oh God, you know, um, what, how do you feel like when you do see all that play off, you just turn off TV? <laughs> well, sorry, my dog, no, going crazy. Um, I, well, I don't really pay attention to it. I, I have to admit, I don't watch any below decks. There's like some PTSD from, that, you know, and I just don't, I just don't really pay that much attention, but I have some friends that are on it. Like, uh, I think the current, um, show that's airing Dave White, I know him from Yachty. Oh. Yeah. So he and I are friends and he had told me before he was going to be on the show. And so I know him and, you know, I still keep up with some people from the show, just chit chatting here and there. And, um, like Ciara is one I always keep in touch with still too. Um, and Glenn here and there too. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, like all the negativity, what was really nice is like with this announcement, like the outpouring of positivity and like, sometimes I guess I forget that like you know the haters sometimes can be louder than the lovers and I think everyone who's ever been on a reality show gets razzed by people because that's what people do but um it's also really nice to know that you have support and I'm just so appreciative of that because uh like the, some of the comments people make genuinely like you know in private or in public are just like really really nice things and um I guess like it always goes back to me, like thinking about like the haters that were involved in the show, but I always know, like I never stopped believing who I am and I know what happened in reality. And, uh, you know, I know what kind of person I am. So that was, um, I just don't really acknowledge the stuff anymore. If it's negative, I just block and delete. And that's the end of that. So now, now did your fiance know who, who like did he ever watch below deck before no and like his family none of them watch it and like he he's like i'm never gonna watch it i just <laughs> probably for the best <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah probably. i mean 
just with the the relationship stuff um, yeah for a husband to watch yeah, yeah. hey but, sorry my dog is uh that's, lots right. of activity in the yard right no, now. I, I just got back from the vet so i feel you oh um, yeah 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 um you mentioned dave that's interesting are you watching the season at all um no i'm not okay, okay. why what's happening a little heartbreaking he had a relationship with the chief stew i think he told me that she ghosted him and he got kind of drunk and then he kind of rage texted her and said some pretty bad things but at the same time like we're seeing the viewership go back and forth now they're feeling kind of bad for him because she's just like ignoring him and she oh, and he's like, yeah it's well, all I know is Dave's actually a really good guy. Like you can see all the charity work he does and everything. Yes. Like that. He's like, that's who he is in real life. And I know he's like a killer chef as well. Yeah. Um, super nice guy. I mean, that's all I know of him. He's a very nice guy. Um, no complaints. Sensitive. We've been he seems, friends for a while. He seems so. like he's definitely sensitive. Yeah. And like, again, the pressure of being on the show and also just yachting in general mm -hmm. just gets to you. And I mean, ghosting is <laughs> you know it, it's, it's ghosting why are you doing that i like i honestly feel like sorry. i'm just so against ghosting but i'm a very clear communicator and if i ever had an issue with somebody i'm just like hey i'm really sorry not feeling it like the end like and especially when you're in that kind of an environment like you can't be doing that but i don't know her so i don't know the circumstances but yeah. um i don't know yeah, yeah, he may, he may love to hear from you actually right now. <laughs> I'll message him because I didn't know any of that was going on. Yeah, so no, I give him a message. It's upset. It's upset just for everybody. And I know, I know um, you had a lot of confusion with like the Adam thing where he was like yeah. totally confusing and mixed messages. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. So well, and it can be misinterpreted, and people watching have such an opinion about it, and you're like, that's not even how it went down. <laughs> there's yeah. like, yeah, you know, there's sometimes more of a conversation than is able to be shown in the episode. So it's like, um, you know, there might be more to it than people see. And of course, again, sometimes feelings are heightened. And like, imagine if you're doing a charter, you're doing back to back charters for six weeks straight, you're just like exhausted, and then you just feel emotional as a result. So like, no blame on him but yeah so my fiance's name is david so perfect That's <laughs> I, perfect. I think we need clarification on that because too i think people didn't know his name but it's david so david. okay and david dave it, it, no one works in yachting anymore or, or no nope, i the last time i was working in yachting was i ended last year just in september and i was just like totally over it because i don't know if people know too like i have a degree in social work and i work in social work so um i i would work in yachting for a bit and then come back to social work and so i'm i'm back in that field and oh, wow. i feel good there and yeah doing my thing wow are you working for like a like a nonprofit or or what what are you doing? i do child protection actually wow yeah child, that's big that's heavy yeah that's so important. cool it's good it's yeah. good work Yes. Yes. It's great work. That's great. Yeah. And so, and is he in a different industry then or? Yeah, he not? is. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. social work. <laughs> okay. So you, so y'all going to be land lovers and. Uh... Yes. We're going to travel. So actually he used to work on cruise ships too, oh. but um, <laughs> like in his early twenties, but uh, yeah, we're both. So he's been kind of everywhere I have too. So we have that in common, um, which is really nice, but yeah, it's nice to both be here with our families and he's got a niece and nephew here and I have a niece here and my sister lives here and his sisters live here. So it's just very nice. We're having an engagement party tonight with our families. So nice. yeah, That's exciting. I will put some pictures up. I um, will. Or text me some so I can put them in the store. Sure. Yeah, um, I will. But yeah, I'm, I am now super curious about this wedding. It'll be in a year, but I'm envisioning like fairy lights and sunsets. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, we're actually getting some engagement photos done on the 29th. So that'll be at the beach. So I'll post those because uh, our photographer is awesome. So I'll post those. They'll be really pretty. And then, yeah, I know. I can't wait for the, because I've always been like doing the decor of things. Yes. And honestly, one of my favorite themes was doing a garden party setting. And so I'm kind of like, incorporating that into my ideas of the decor very cool very cool yeah. well, I feel like you've already got it under control that you will not be a bridezilla like you're gonna oh I'm not you know what honestly our whole focus is like 
we don't want anyone to do any work like any of our friends and family and we just want to have things as simple as possible we we're actually not having like a bridal party we just want to have like everyone just have fun and the main focus is like fun party like just having a great time that's the oh, whole focus nobody has to do anything <laughs> that's amazing that's amazing and it's going to be yeah. gorgeous at the time of year too i know what yeah. it's up there so really nice. I'm super excited for you. All right. Well, please Thanks, keep sharing Gina. photos. Everyone's very happy for you though. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And Glad you got uh, your happy ending. <laughs> I know. And I have my perfect soulmate guy. So he's the best person I could imagine, honestly. So it's awesome. Yeah.